Democratic Communist Socialists follow and threaten Mitch McConnell in Louisville. We know where you live, Mitch, by Kristen Taylor for the GatewayPundit.com. Members of the Democratic Communist Socialists of America were part of a mob that followed and threatened Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell Saturday afternoon in Louisville, according to a video posted by the Louisville DSA chapter. DSA members and other unaffiliated leftists uh, followed uh, McConnell at close quarters from a restaurant to his car, chanting and yelling with one protester repeatedly threatening McConnell, we know where you live, Mitch. McConnell walked slowly, leaving him vulnerable to mobs, and as a result of a childhood bout of polio, McConnell's unsteadiness on his feet recently prompted a CNN reporter to question his holding hands with President Trump going up a set of stairs. The Democratic Socialist Communists of America have risen to national prominence and influence within the Democratic Party with the stunning primary victory last month by DSA member Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez over the fourth most powerful House Democrat Joe Crowley in New York's safe 14th Congressional District, virtually guaranteeing her a seat in Congress next year. Ocasio-Cortez's victory for the DSA uh, was preceded in May by four Pennsylvania DSA members who won Democratic Party primary nominations for the state legislature. Well, there you see Mitch McConnell. Aren't they lovely looking ladies? I mean, who wouldn't want them following you, huh? Screen images from the video show how close the protesters got to McConnell in an effort to intimidate him. Second photo from top shows two men in light-colored shirts on either side of McConnell trying and uh, failing to keep the protesters from getting closer. Video posted to Twitter by the Louisville DSA with this statement, a group of Louis Louisville residents, including sem uh, several demi-communist socialist members had a message for Mitch McConnell as he left a local restaurant today. Powerful people like Mitch deserve no peace while they enable the imprisonment of babies in concentration camps. Hashtag abolish ICE. Yeah. You out! Yeah. Vote you out! Where are the children? Something like that following you around, huh? Man, you don't know how how unlucky you guys are. You're missing out no on some. No comfort for fascists. No, no justice, comfort. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No wow, peace. take no a justice. look at no them. Look, wow, we'll sexy, sexy. Wow, sexy women there. Yeah, Mitch. Yeah, you got all these sexy women. Oh my lord. A group of uh, them uh, deserve no peace, uh, they say, while uh, for the babies, yeah. Uh, the video was taken by Andrew Massey, who posted it to Facebook. But no, Facebook is not going to censor that. Uh, only uh, YouTube will. Louisville uh, DSA later posted that the man screaming, We know where you live, Mitch, is not a... DSA member, but the group expressed uh, no concern over his threats. Louisville DSA did post the threat to Twitter, after all. We're not sure what this is. Not a DSA member, but he showed up because 
He's had enough of Mitch and Trump. Uh, bless the fine comrades and shout out to the dude who said, we, we know where you live, bitch. Hashtag hero. Yeah, real hero. Uh, we're not sure who, who cares. We had enough of Mitch and Trump. And these this was two weeks ago the, where the group of protesters approached McConnell and his wife, Secretary of Transportation Elaine Chow, as they tried to enter their car while leaving an event in Georgetown University in Washington, D.C. Yeah, but Chow wasn't, wasn't playing games. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw this video. But these were a little bit different types. They weren't as vulgar looking as the other ones. Like these are more, uh, you know, they seem like uh, little kids. Go chow. Go chow. But like, I'd rather have this group than those, those ugly ones that, jeez, they were hideous. Can you imagine something like that following you down? Like, look at these women. Why don't they go spend their time maybe sprucing themselves up, taking a shower or something? Because they look absolutely hideous. Uh, with Kentucky uh, Junior Senator Rand Paul having been uh, uh, in uh, D.C. suburb. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, really? His children recently threatened. I know I didn't report on that. I just didn't feel like it. I mean, really? 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 But Chow gave it to them. You see Chow there? She wasn't backing down. But get a load of these, 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 these women, man. They should be embarrassed. They should be embarrassed to walk the streets. This is what the Democratic Party consists of. Look at them. Look at them. Look at the guys, too. The guy on the left that we just missed. Look at the guy on the left right here. Jeez, like... I mean, I'm not saying you have to be a beauty queen or anything, but look at this. That's a woman there in the red shirt, believe it or not. That's a woman. Can you imagine that woman comes up to you, man? <laughs> if I was a guy, man, I would run. I would literally run for my life. Oh, my God. Oh, my. Look at them. They're about 400 pounds. 400 pounds of blubber. The other one uh, looks like, uh, I don't even know what she looks like. The other one with that long, can you imagine? They're probably unshaven too. Oh, what a load of crap that the Democrats are. Uh, you know, this is, this is, this is what you, and you know, they're all, they're, they're pro probably all on, uh, on public assistance. Look at that. Who, who would hire these people? You know, like somebody comes walking in for a job interview looking like that. I mean, would you hire them? Or, you know, tell them to go take a shower maybe and, and, and you know, the filth on these people, the filth. And this is, this is, this is, yeah, but they match with Hillary Clinton. Don't look at Clinton that she's got the money to buy a, uh, $25,000 suits. Don't look at Hillary. She's the same slob as these people. Believe you me. Hillary's just as much of a slob like these people are. Yeah, real slobs. This is, uh, yeah, it is time to make America great again and uh, put them in their place where they belong, you know? You don't harass people like that uh, that, are, uh, that are just minding their own business on their own time. Uh, they they should have uh, called the uh, officers uh, for harassment. Where where's the law enforcement? It's not Obama where they were they were told to stand down. I mean I don't know who the the uh, mayor is over there in Louisville. Maybe he's a leftist liberal too. But uh, can you just imagine? And especially the woman in the red shirt. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! picture that coming after you. <laughs>
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.